viewers welcome to my channel i'm hashem ali khan so far six problems i have completed short questions i have completed on this chapter partnership accounts all these short questions are regarding the preparation of profit and loss appropriation account and then uh, preparing the capital account current account calculating the profit sharing ratio all these are the basic things and these short questions will be asked even in examination also so if you want the perfect knowledge, watch all the videos from beginning till end. Don't skip in between. If you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject advanced accounting new. Select the videos regarding partnership accounts. Watch all the videos. Be perfect. Now in this video, I'm starting from 7th. 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. Six problems I'm going to explain in this video. So before starting the 7th problem. I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep the problems ready. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, see the seventh problem. Shiva and Rama are sharing profits in the ratio of 5 is to 3. Vishnu is admitted with 3 8th share of which he obtained 2 8th from Shiva and 1 8th from Rama. Find the new profit sharing ratio of Shiva, Rama and Vishnu and sacrificing ratio. So this is the first problem in which we are going to calculate the profit sharing ratio. Two partners are there, Shiva and Rama, old partners. And the profit sharing ratio was 5 is to 3. That means 5 by 8, 3 by 8. This is the old profit sharing ratio of Shiva and Rama. New partner Vishnu is admitted with a promise that the profit share of Vishnu will be 3 by 8. Out of the total profit, 3 8th share is of Vishnu. Right? But out of this 3 8th share, 2 8th. He is taking from Shiva and one eighth he is taking from Rama. That means the old partners are sacrificing some ratio, some I mean share of the profit in favor of the new partner. So first we calculate the new share of Shiva. Shiva's new share. The old share of Shiva was 5 by 8. Out of 5 by 8, 2 by 8 he is surrendering to Vishnu. So deduct 2 by 8. So 5 by 8 minus 2 by 8, LCM is 8. So 5 minus 2, 3 by 8. 3 by 8 is the new ratio, new share of Shiva. Rama. Rama's old share was 3 by 8. How much he is surrendering to new partner? 1 by 8. So from 3 by 8, we subtract 1 by 8. So 3 by 8 minus 1 by 8, LCM is 8. 3 minus 1, 2 by 8. The so new ratio of Rama 2 by 8, new ratio of Shiva 3 by 8. Now the new profit sharing ratio of Shiva, Rama and Vishnu is 3 by 8. This is of Shiva, 2 by 8 Rama and 3 by 8. This is Vishnu, new partner. So LCM is same, 8, 8, 8. So the profit sharing ratio is 3 is to 2 is to 3. 3 is to 2 is to 3. This is the new profit sharing ratio of all the three partners. Now, secondly, it is asking you to calculate the sacrificing ratio. In the theory video, I have explained you regarding what do you mean by sacrificing ratio and what is the formula. The formula is old ratio minus new ratio. Sacrificing ratio for the old partners. The old partners are sacrificing some share of profit in favor of the new partner. So how much they are sacrificing? old ratio. Shiva's old ratio is 5 by 8 and Shiva's new ratio is 3 by 8. So 5 by 8 minus 3 by 8. LCM is 8. 5 minus 3, 2. 2 by 8. 2 by 8 is the sacrificing ratio of Shiva. Similarly, Rama. The old ratio was 3 by 8 and the new ratio is 2 by 8. So 3 by 8 minus 2 by 8. LCM is 8. So 3 minus 2, 1 by 8. So sacrificing ratio is 2 by 8 is to 1 by 8 or 2 is to 1. 2 
is to one is the sacrificing ratio. That's it. This is the end of problem number seven. Now I am reading out problem number eight. Ram and Sham are partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of three is to two. So only two partners, Ram and Sham. Gopal was admitted to for one fifth share in the profits. In the total profits, one fifth profit will go to the new partner Gopal. New partner Gopal. Calculate the new profit sharing ratio. What is the difference between the previous problem and this problem? In the previous problem, how much share is given by the old partners to the new partner is given. But in this problem, it is not given. Only the old ratio is given and the share of the new partner is given. So, old ratio of Ram and Sham 3 is to 2. And the new partner Gopal's share is 1 by 5. So, what we'll do is, out of the total profit, one fifth profit will go to Gopal. So from 1 minus 1 by 5, the remaining profit will be 4 by 5. 1 minus 1 by 5, you will get 4 by 5. This is the remaining profit after giving the share to Gopal. Now this 4 by 5 will be shared by old partners in the old ratio. What is the old ratio? 3 by 5, 2 by 5. So now the new share of Ram. Ram is the first partner. So how much is the remaining profit here? 4 by 5. This 4 by 5 will be multiplied by old ratio. What is the old ratio? 3 by 5. So 4 by 5 into 3 by 5. 4, 3 is a 12. 5, 5 is a 25. 12 by 25 is the new ratio of Ram. Now Sham. New ratio of Sham. Out of the remaining profit of 4 by 5, what is the old ratio of Sham? 2 by 5. So 4 by 5 into 2 by 5, 8 by 25. So the 12 by 25 is the new ratio of Ram and 8 by 25 is the new ratio of Sham. So what is the new profit sharing ratio of all the partners? Ram, Sham and Gopa. That is 12 by 25, 8 by 25 and the new partner Gopal's share is 1 by 5. 1 by 5. But what is happening here? See here, the denominator 25, 25. But here denominator is 5. So it is better to convert this 5 into 25. So multiply the numerator and denominator by 5. So 5 will be converted into 25. Because we need all the denominators same. So here multiply by 5 and divide by 5. So 5 ones are 5, 5 five is are 25. Now you can see all the denominators are same. 25, 25, 25. So the ratio will be 12 is to 8 is to 5. This is the new profit sharing ratio. So these two problems are entirely different. The method of calculating the new profit sharing ratio is entirely different for these two problems. Next, ninth problem. Raja Gopalan and Vishwanatham sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 5 is to 3. Two partners are their old partners. Admit Guru Raj on 3 7th share in the new form, which he takes 2 7th from Raja Gopalan and 1 seventh from Vishwanadam. Calculate the new profit sharing ratio. This problem is exactly similar to the seventh problem. Seventh problem. So, old partners are Raja Gopalan and Vishwanadam. The profit sharing ratio is 5 is to 3. The new partner Guru Raj share is 3 by 7. This 3 by 7 he is taking 2 by 7 from Raja Gopalan and 1 by 7 from Vishwanadam. If you add up 2 by 7 plus 1 by 7, you will get 3 by 7. 2 by 7 plus 1 by 7, you will get 3 by 7. Right? Now we need the new ratio of Raja Gopalan. Raja Gopalan. What is the old ratio of Raja Gopalan? 5 by 8. How much share he is surrendering to the new partner Guru Raj? 2 by 7. So 5 by 8 minus 2 by 7. If you take the LCM, 8 into 7, 8 7s are 56, right? Now 8, how many times 8 cuts 56? 7 times. 7 into 5, 7 5s are 35. Similarly, how many times 7 cuts 56? 8 times. 8 into 2, 16. So 35 minus 16, 19 by 56 is the new ratio of Raj Gopalan. Similarly, new ratio of Vishwanadam. Vishwanadam. So, 
How much was the old share of Vishwanatham? 3 by 8. How much is surrendering to the new partner? 1 by 7. So 3 by 8 minus 1 by 7. LCM again, 8 sevens are 56. Now 8, how many times cuts 56? 7 times. 7 into 3, 21. 7, how many times cuts 56? 8 times. 8 into 1 is 8. 21 minus 8, 13 by 56. So we got the new ratio of Vishwa Rajagopalan, 19 by 56. New ratio of Vishwa Nadham, 13 by 56. Now new ratio of all the partners. The first one, 19 by 56. This is Rajagopalan. Vishwanathan is 13 by 56. And the new partner Guru Raj is 3 by 7. 3 by 7. But here, denominator is 56, 56. Here it is 7. So we want to convert this 7 into 56. So we have to multiply by 8. 8 into 7 is 56. So multiply the numerator and denominator by 8. So 8, 3 is a 24. 8 into 7, 56. Now you can see all the denominators are same. So the new profit sharing ratio is 19 is to 13 is to 24. That's it. Now next, 10th problem. Sohan and Rajan share profits in the ratio of 3 is to 2. This is the old ratio of old partners. They admit Mohan as a partner. Their new profit sharing ratio is 5 is to 3 is to 2. Calculate the sacrificing ratio. In this problem, it is all already given. Old ratio is given, new ratio is given. It is asking you to calculate sacrificing ratio. Already we know the formula for sacrificing ratio is old ratio minus new ratio. So here you can see. Old ratio of Sohan and Rajan 3 is to 2. New ratio of Sohan, Rajan and Mohan. This is the new partner. Is 5 is to 3 is to 2. Both the ratios are given. Sacrificing ratio is old ratio minus new ratio. First we calculate for Sohan. The old ratio is 3 by 5. 3 plus 2 is 5. So 3 by 5. Minus new ratio. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 2, 10. So 5 by 10. LCM, 10. So 5 how many times cuts 10? 2 times. 2, 3 is a 6. 10 how many times cuts 10? 1 time. 1 into 5, 5. So 6 minus 5 is 1 by 10. This is the sacrificing ratio of so on. Similarly, sacrificing ratio of Rajan. Old ratio is 2 by 5. New ratio is 3 by 10. New ratio is 3 by 10. LCM again 10. 5, 5 how many times cuts 10? 2 times. 2 twos are 4. 10 how many times cuts 10? 1 time. 1 into 3 is 3. So 4 minus 3 is 1 by 10. So here, sacrificing ratio is 1 is to 1. 1 by 10 is to 1 by 10. So 1 is to 1 is the sacrificing ratio. Now, 11th problem. A and B are partners in a firm sharing profits in the ratio of 3 is to 2 with capitals of 12,000 and 5,400 respectively. So in this problem, profit sharing ratio is 3 is to 2 and the capitals are 12,000 for A and 5,400 for B. They admitted X as a partner with 7,500 rupees capital for one-third sharing profits of the firm. They have invited X as a new partner, provided that he has to bring 7,500 as capital and his share of profit is one-third. Adjust the capital of the partners according to the profit sharing ratio and show the amount of capital each partner. No entries are required. What should be the capital of the old partners according to new profit sharing ratio? So we have to adjust the capital of the old partners according to the new profit sharing ratio. First of all, we calculate the new profit sharing ratio. Old ratio is A and B 3 is to 2 and new partner X share is 1 by 3. So we have to calculate the remaining share. 1 minus 1 by 3 is 2 by 3. 1 minus 1 by 3 is 2 by 3. 2 by 3 is the remaining share. This 2 by 3 remaining share will be shared by old partners A and B in the old ratio. So new ratio of A. What is the old ratio? What is the remaining ratio? Remaining share is 2 by 3 into what is the old ratio? 
थ्री बाई फाइव थ्री प्लस टू इज फाइव तो थ्री बाई फाइव टू थ्री इज सिक्स थ्री फाइव फिफ्टीन सिक्स बाई फिफ्टीन इज द न्यू रेशो ऑफ ए सिमिलरली न्यू रेशो ऑफ बी द रिमेनिंग रेशो इज टू बाई थ्री एंड द ओल्ड रेशो इज टू बाई फाइव तो टू बाई थ्री इंटू टू बाई फाइव टू टू फोर थ्री फाइव फिफ्टीन फोर बाई फिफ्टीन इज द न्यू रेशो ऑफ बी नो न्यू रेशो ऑफ ए बी एंड एक्स इज एज न्यू रेशो इज सिक्स बाई फिफ्टीन बीज न्यू रेशो इज फोर बाई फिफ्टीन एंड द न्यू पार्टनर एक्स शेयर इज वन बाई थ्री तो हियर दिस इज डिनोमिनेटर फिफ्टीन हियर डिनोमिनेटर फिफ्टीन हियर ओनली थ्री तो टू कन्वर्ट दिस थ्री इंटू फिफ्टीन वी टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई फाइव multiply the numerator and denominator by 5 so the denominator will become 25 5 uh, denominator will become 15 5 3 is a 15 5 1 a 5 so all the denominators are same so the new ratio will be 6 is to 4 is to 5 that's all now we have to adjust the capital what is the new share of uh, pan uh, what is the share of the new partner x 1 by 3 For one third share, how much profit? How much capital he is bringing in? Seven thousand five hundred. The new partner X brings seven thousand five hundred as capital. For how much share? One third share. So for one third share, X capital is seven thousand five hundred. For complete one, how much? That means for one third is equal to seven thousand five hundred. So one is equal to how much? So multiply seven thousand five hundred into three, you will get twenty two thousand five hundred. So one divided by one by three. So if you reverse, if you instead of dividing, if you multiply, it will become three by one. So seven thousand five hundred into three by one, you will get twenty two five hundred is the total capital of the firm according to new profit sharing ratio. Total capital, total capital of the firm twenty two five hundred. A's capital should be. Out of twenty-two find it. How much is the capital of A? What is the profit sharing ratio of A? Six by fifteen. So twenty-two find it into six by fifteen. You will get nine thousand. So according to new profit sharing ratio, A's capital should be nine thousand. Now B's capital should be twenty-two find it into four by fifteen. New ratio is four by fifteen. It comes to six thousand. so if we adjust the capital according to new profit sharing ratio then a's capital should be 9000 and b's capital should be 6000 originally how much capital is given in the problem a 12000 and b 5400 presently a's capital is 12000 but his capital should be only 9000 that means the he is having more capital invested the firm Will return back twelve thousand minus nine thousand, twelve thousand minus nine thousand three thousand excess capital. A is having excess capital in the business, so the firm will return back three thousand to Mr. A. B B's capital should be six thousand, but in the problem it is given B's capital is only five thousand four hundred, so the firm will ask B. To bring six hundred rupees cash, so that his capital should be equal to six thousand. So further capital to be called up from B six thousand minus five thousand four hundred six hundred. Three thousand rupees should be returned back to A, and from B six hundred rupees should be called up. Then the partner's capital will be nine thousand for A, six thousand for B. And seven thousand five hundred for X. That's it. This is the end of problem number eleven. Now twelfth problem. A, B, and C were carrying on business in partnership, sharing profits and losses in the ratio of five is to three is to two. Three partners are there. A, B, C. They admit D in the partnership, giving him one fifth share in future profits. He brings twenty thousand as his share of goodwill. And capital to the extent of fifty thousand. The old partners withdrew goodwill from the business. Pass journal entries. In this problem, simply we have to pass the journal entries. How the goodwill will be recorded and how the goodwill will be shared. It is given that 
your old partners withdrew goodwill from the business. So actually, when cash is brought by the new partner, we debit bank account. He is bringing, the new partner is bringing 50,000 capital and 20,000 goodwill. Total 70,000. The bank account debit 70,000, this capital 50,000 to goodwill 20,000. Goodwill account is created by 20,000 being the cash brought by the new one. Now this goodwill will be shared by the old partners in the old ratio. We are not calculating sacrificing ratio because new ratio is not given. If new ratio, old ratio both are given, then there is a need to calculate sacrificing ratio. Here new ratio is not given. So whatever remaining profit is there, that remaining profit will be shared by the old ratio. That's why we divide the goodwill in the old ratio. What is the old ratio given? The old ratio is three is to uh, five is to three is to two. The old ratio of A B C is five is to three is to two. Now goodwill is created here. Now second entry goodwill account debit. Goodwill should be closed. First we have credited. Second entry we have to debit. Goodwill account debit to A's capital to B's capital to C's capital. Total goodwill is twenty thousand. Now in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2, 5 by 10, 3 by 10, 2 by 10, you will get 10,000, 6,000, 4,000 in the old ratio, being the goodwill shared by the old partners in the old ratio. Now one point is given in the problem, the old partners are withdrawing goodwill, they are not keeping the goodwill amount in the business, the goodwill amount they are taking it away. So cash is going out, so bank account should be credited by 20,000. Cash is going out, so bank account should be created. And the partner's capital account will be debited. So A's capital account debit 10,000, B's capital account debit 6,000, C's capital account debit 4,000. Bank account credit 20,000. Being the goodwill amount withdrawn by the old partners. That's all. These are the three entries. So this is the end of problem number 12. So in this video, I have explained you 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 6 problems, 6 short questions I have explained. Inshallah, in the next video, we continue the problems on partnership accounts.